another day, another infection. My friends, I'm Amy Esther. I live with multiple chronic illnesses. If you've been here before, you know that I'm sick all day, every day. I have so many chronic health issues. And on top of that, I feel like I just keep getting these extra things that are what I think are unrelated to my chronic illnesses, but maybe they're related. I don't know. But it's so annoying. You can probably hear it in my voice a little bit. I wanted to film this yesterday. My husband was like, Amy, you sound terrible. <laughs> like Nobody will be able to understand you. Because my nose was so stuffed up. And today it's a little bit better. But I got another sinus infection. And I've had so many over the last year. And been on rounds of antibiotics. And I just feel like I keep getting these like extra things on the side of my normal chronic illnesses and my whole family gets a cold and it's a mild cold and it goes away and then mine stays around and it gets worse and worse and worse until it turns into an infection and I have an ear infection right now too uh it's just my body is not not working right as per usual and a few months ago I got the flu a month after I got the flu shot like the vaccine, my whole family, we all got our shots together. Nobody else got sick, just me. <laughs> the doctor told me, yeah, it's pretty rare to get the flu after the flu shot, but you know what? You're one of those lucky ones who just doesn't follow the norm. Yeah, like that's just my life, story of my life. Last year, I also had surgery, had a really bad UTI infection after my surgery. My doctor told me, he tested me on a Friday. He was like, oh, I'll call you next week with the results to see if you have a UTI based, cause based on my symptoms. We were guessing that was what was going on. He ended up calling me at 7 p.m. on a Friday night because the lab called him saying, this girl has such a bad UTI. <laughs> like she needs to start antibiotics now. So he called me super late Friday night, which has never happened to me. Usually they just wait until the next week. No, this one needed to be addressed right away. And with this sinus infection, I went in, she looked at my nose and she's like, oh yeah, wow, that's not good. She's like, that's probably not going to go away on its own. We need to get you on some antibiotics. She put me on like a double antibiotic and I'm just so tired. <laughs> I've been on so many rounds of antibiotics and especially in the past year, but I know my gut is already a disaster. So if you have any tips for how to deal with the uh, post antibiotic gut. The last time I was on a round of antibiotics, I started the carnivore diet. I have an update coming next about that, but I felt like I had to do something extreme because my gut was so bad. And now am I going to have to just do something extreme again? Because my gut is going to be a disaster again. I have taken two doses so far and I already am like 50% better. It's so beautiful. And I'm so thankful that I have this because I have been so miserable the past week and like not sleeping and my nose is just so disgusting. I sound disgusting. I look sick. You don't even know how many times I have to pause this video to blow my nose and then pause it to fix my nose makeup because my nose is so freaking red and dry. So the doctor that I went to see about uh, this latest infection told me I had an ear infection, a nose infection, and I told her, I swear that like this side of my nose is misshapen because it's hard for me to blow my nose. I feel like, I'm not gonna go into the TMI, but I just feel like it's it doesn't work right. <laughs> and I always get my infection starting on this side. This one started on that side. It got a little bit on the left side, but mostly on the right side. Anyway, she looked at it and she's like, yeah, it does look like you have really small nostrils and I think is it a deviated septum, something like that. I don't know. Something is like not right in there. And so she sent me to a near ears, nose and throat doctor to see if, you know, if there's something they can do to help me. So I stop getting these dang sinus infections because it's getting really annoying. Uh, so I will keep you updated on that. I haven't seen them yet, but I've just been referred. So of course there's another doctor, another problem with Amy. And I find myself in times like this going into this place of, of course, this would happen to me. Like classic Amy, always have the, the worst case scenario happen. Not worst, worst case scenario, but the less than ideal case. Everybody else gets it mild. I get it extra. Everybody else gets the flu shot, doesn't get the flu. I still get the flu. 
things like that. Like my brain goes to like, yeah, one thing after another. Why do these bad things keep happening to me? And I like to kind of trick my brain in these moments, maybe not trick, but just talk to my brain and calm it down. And I like to ask myself, is the opposite also true? It's hard for me to just go from like, oh, all these bad things happen. Of course this happened to me to like, oh, my life is so great. I don't want to go that far, but I like to say like, and you know, some things <laughs> go wrong for me and seem to be extra that no one else gets. But does the opposite side of that also ring true? Do I also have intense blessings on the side? And when I stopped myself this uh, past week and instead of like, oh, of course I have to go on another antibiotic. Of course my gut's going to be messed up again. Of course I got this extra sinus infection. It's like, but also, of course I have three beautiful children that are so sweet to me when I'm sick. And of course I have a husband who is willing to pay for me to go to the doctor and to work so that we have insurance so that I can go and get this medication when I need it. And uh, of course I have you guys here on this online YouTube community that I can vent to and talk to these things about. And of course, this month I hit 150,000 subscribers, which is wild and crazy. Of course, that amazing thing happened. Of course, I have my online uh, community, which if you're not a part of, you need to come join because every time I leave those calls, it like resets me. We do two live calls a week in there. We do coaching calls. So if you need help with the mental side of chronic illness, feeling lonely, feeling frustrated, there's so many struggles that happen on the mental side of chronic illness. And that's why I started this online community and group coaching program. I'm a licensed life coach and I coach you as well as other people in the community who have tips and tricks for you. We do two live calls a week or you can watch the replays later. But every time I leave one of those calls, I'm like, I'm reset. I'm reset to like take on this hard challenge of chronic illness again. And of course I have created that at this time when I have all these health problems going on. And of course, so many of you have joined and have brought so much light to my life. And we just finished our basement. Of course, I was able to finish my basement and have more space and have a toy room for my kids' toys. And of course, it's been easier for me to clean my house because I have that extra space. And when I start to go into the opposite, I start to see so many amazing blessings. And I don't think it's healthy to try to get yourself to only think about the positives. I just don't think that's Personally, for me, that's not the way I want to live. I don't want to push down all negative feelings and only feel the happy, positive ones. But I like to go to a place of and. Of course, this would happen where I get another um, sinus infection. And also, of course, I have this beautiful home to live in with my family. Of course, you know, I have these physical health struggles, but also... My mental health has made big strides in the last year, and I'm so proud of myself for that. And going into a place of and, things are hard and there's some good, beautiful things in my life, really helps me to stay more balanced, and it helps me handle the hard things a lot better. It doesn't take away the hard. It doesn't make me stop crying about them sometimes. Sometimes I need to break down and cry. Sometimes I need to get on here and vent to you and talk to you about it. But I just wanted to share those thoughts that kind of went through my mind and how uh, I kind of help myself get through the times where I find uh, my brain spiraling into poor me, why me, uh, why is this happening to me again? Of course, this would happen to me, only me. Yeah, but also the opposite. Why me? What did I do to deserve such beautiful children? To be a member of my religion? Or what did I do to deserve to have a car that's running? <laughs> you know, like there's so many things we can think about that can help us through hard things. Okay, those are my thoughts for today, my friend. I'm on an antibiotic. Please give me some tips and tricks for how to uh, get things uh, moving again in my gut because we are, we're nuking the, an, the bacteria again and I already have issues with my gut microbiome, but I also felt like this was the right thing for me to do. All right, my friends, if you are not yet part of my community, I will link everything down below. It's amazing you wanna jump in there or if you wanna be part of this free community here on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, my friends.